depends. Yeah, obviously disappointing. You know, to have a game like this, but you know, it's, I mean, it's, sometimes it's the um, you know the schedule gets the best of you. And there, you know, times where um, you know you just can't bring the effort that you need to bring to get a game. Did you feel that like in the second half? You guys were trying to dig deep and win there. Um, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, it's hard to say. You know, collectively. some emotional fatigue. Uh, you know, it's been a long road trip, but uh, you know, for our team, it's no excuse. You know, we're, we're veteran enough to, <coughs> you know, you play the tricks on your mind that you need to play in order to figure out how to get it done. And we didn't do that the last two days. Is Come there on. any notion to that, or any validity to that notion that you played hundred plus games last three years, made finals runs, and now you, you had, you, you can't just trick yourself into getting up for. Some teams. That's why you struggled against sub five hundred teams this year. No, not necessarily. I mean, I don't. We. I don't know if we've struggled as badly as it seems. You know. Um, yeah. Before this trip, it was you know about us struggling against the so-called power teams. Right. You know, we won one or two of those games, and uh, you know we lose a game like today, and then. It, it's about struggling against the sub-500 teams. But, um, you know, there are a lot of teams that would love to be 38 and 18 at this point in the season. So, you know, even when you struggle and there are some adverse situations throughout the season, uh, you, know, you still have to keep things in perspective and, uh, you know, understand that it's a long season and, uh, you know, you have to stay strong even, even on the down days. Do you have guys last question? about defensive communication being a problem, talking defensively in the last couple of games. Is that is that a problem that's kind of come and gone this year? Is that the newness as well? Uh, no, I mean, I, I think that's uh, that's something that happens on and off throughout the season. And I think what you will find is, uh, at least, you know, for our team, uh, you know, there are, there are nights where offensively, if it's a struggle, you know, then we defensively we're just not in rhythm and in sync as a team. And I think sometimes as basketball players, we forget that the offense and defense are connected. And they aren't just two separate things. Right. And in order to be a great defensive team, there has to be a certain level of efficiency on the offensive end. So when you're not shooting the ball well and the ball's just not going in the basket, it makes it tough to, you know, grind out the defensive stops that you need. And, uh, you know, the last two days, the way we shot the ball from the perimeter, uh, and particularly the three-point line, you know, uh, that's a lot of long rebounds for teams to kind of run back at us and uh, shove it down. 